stogiereview.com here with another first impressions video cigar review and uh, as you can see the scenery has changed yet again not fully in the office yet but uh, I'm temporarily set up so that I can check my exhaust uh, my light my lighting and just general general yeah, general <laughs> generally the overall feel of the room and uh, so far without uh, you know a desk and furniture in here it's kind of awkward <laughs> so I've I just got a temporary desk stuck in the corner and I was planning on shooting this thing live like uh, like I did the last one but of course you uh, you allow the, the laptop to use the the camera and what do you see directly behind me are these blazing uh, halogen lights so it was a poor place to put the temporary desk for now but uh, I'm, I'm still recording this first impressions video uh, generally uh, for one because I've never had the cigar before and I was kind of interested uh, two because I wanted a cigar tonight and uh, three, because I'm really interested to see how well this exhaust fan works. Uh, you can probably hear it, although it is supposed to be a whisper fan, or a whisper quiet. Uh, and, it, and it really is, until you hook an air duct up to it, and then all of a sudden you hear the air rushing you know, around and through the duct, and uh, it gets a little noisy. So, uh, with that said, let's uh, take a look at the cigar that I will be doing today. I'll scoot my way closer to the camera here. And... Uh, cigar is the Carlos Torano 1959 50 year and uh, this is a cigar that I picked up at my local tobaccos today for uh, just over six dollars I believe I have a receipt but I am horrible with the organization today uh, $6.95 a piece he charged me for the Churchill. Yes. <laughs> I have to go in there and mention that to him. These are not the Churchill size. At least I don't think they're the Churchill size. They are. It's a small Churchill. SCH. Under of Dennis. SCH. You know what? No, this is actually. Oddly enough, uh, this is listed as a Churchill. It's a uh, 48 by 6. Interesting. And the uh, wrapper is a Brazilian Ariparaca, I believe that's how you pronounce it, sun grown, uh, Honduran binder, uh, and filler from Esteli and uh, Pueblo Nuevo, Nicaragua. Um, again, completely disorganized here, but uh, just bear with me. Now, uh, just going, just, you know what, I'm, I feel like I'm too well, too far away from the camera. I want to scoot forward so that I can show you stuff. And really, it's mainly so that I can see the LCD and you can see what's going on, or I can see what's going on. So, uh, let me just get super close here so you can get an idea what's going on. Okay, so we got this gold uh, band, which is typical of the... Torano Exodus line. Uh, it's, I think it's darker than the other band, and there's a secondary band that says 50 year down below. Uh, the the Brazilian Maduro wrapper is uh, very, very dark, very, very oily, and very, very aromatic. Uh, just getting it anywhere near your face, and you'll you'll pick up the aroma, the heavy aroma of the wrapper. It's got that typical uh, barnyard-like aroma to it. The pre-light draw is pretty loose. Uh, the the cold draw has got sort of uh, almost like a stale chocolate sort of taste, but it's not bad. So let's get it started, so that I can turn this clip off and turn these these incredibly hot halogen lights off. Uh, and try to enjoy this a little bit before I have to turn the back on for the next clip. It doesn't help that it's it's in the 90s and uh, humidity is terribly high today. But uh, it's much better than the uh, the other space that I use, which has absolutely no airflow. It's 
got a nice spice through the sinus. It's got a, a thick texture on the palate. The, the aroma coming off the foot reminds me of like uh, grilling. It's got uh, like uh, a charcoal sort of aroma to it. Really nice, heavy spice to the sinus. I'm, I'm really liking that. You know, uh, initial impression, first impression of the, you know, the very first puff is uh, I like this cigar. I, or it, it looks as though I'm going to like this cigar more than I do the other Exodus lines. Uh, so far, it's it's very promising. So I'm going to take a break. Uh, I'll come back in a few minutes or a couple of seconds. And uh, we'll take a look and see how uh, see how the cigar progresses at the first half. Uh, after that, I'll, uh, I'll wrap the cigar up and let you go on your way. So sit tight. Halogen lights off. Much cooler already. All right, well, I'm back and uh, not quite halfway through the cigar, but uh, I'm progressing along nicely. Uh, the ash is kind of dark. Here I am scooting towards the camera again. It, the, uh, the ash is kind of dark. Um, it holds on pretty well. The uh, the burn line is a little on the wavy side. Uh, just kind of looking at it in light, there is a, a patch that I missed the first time around, and it looks like it was done the way I prefer to see a patch done. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of the way I got the lighting set up in here, but uh, you should be able to right around here. You should be able to see. Uh, the sh a small circular shape. It's not perfectly round, which is a good thing. When they're round, they tend to stand out like a sore thumb. But uh, it appears as though the patch was placed underneath the wrapper when the cigar was rolled, rather than put on top. Sometimes when you put it on top, it stands out more. Uh, sometimes the edges curl and it begins to lift, making it more obvious. In this case, it's tucked underneath the wrapper and applied to the back side. So it's it's less noticeable. I didn't again. I didn't notice it until I was just shimmying away from the camera. But uh, all in all, it's still a pretty solid cigar, even with that one uh, cosmetic flaw. Uh, <clears throat> as far as the construction goes, I'm getting a good volume of smoke. Uh, nice mouthful of smoke with each draw. Uh, there's a little bit of resistance, but very little. And I really prefer my cigars that way. I know some guys say that well. You know, in the event that it draws too loose, I smoke the cigar too fast, it gets too hot. I actually prefer it that way. Not, I don't want to smoke it too fast or let it get too hot, but I want to dictate the pace of the cigar and not the other way around. Um, sometimes what ends up happening when, when I've got a cigar that's too tight is I wind up pulling on it too often to try to get as much smoke as I'm comfortable with, and I end up burning the cigar hot. And, uh, and I don't get the smoke volume I like, and it's, it's an ongoing battle, and, and, and eventually the cigar winds up heating up, and I'm not totally happy with it. In this case, I get to sip at the cigar, nice, slow, easy puffs, and uh, it, it makes for a more enjoyable experience overall for me. Uh, Flavor-wise, it's got a really rich, deep, just earthy kind of taste to it, uh, kind of like moist dirt. And, uh, and stale chocolate. Uh, and that sounds totally unappealing, but I, it, it's really doing it for me. I like, uh, I like this flavor combination quite a bit. I'm still getting a nice, I don't want to say full-bodied or, or overly peppery, but I'm getting a nice pep through the sinuses. It's, uh, it's got a little bit of pepper, it's got a little bit of spice, it's got a heavy feel through the sinus, and I like that in the cigar especially when I'm smoking a cigar in the evening. I want to be able to, 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 to taste and feel you know, what's going on with the cigar over top of you know, the dinner that I had or the drink that I'm, that I'm pairing it with, things like that. And so far the cigar is going really, really well and I'm really impressed with it. I mean, uh, Terranio was a, was a company that I, I smoked a fair amount of earlier on in the smoking hobby. Um, I, I picked them up fairly frequently. I was a big fan of the Exodus Silver and I smoked a fair amount of the Exodus Gold. And then after a while I just kind of drifted away. I wasn't a fan of the, the Casa Terrano. Um, 
you know, there was uh, there was one that we did on the dog watch that I was I was really impressed with. And I liked it quite a bit, but I don't think they make it anymore. And you know, I started to drift away from the Tyrannia line, and every now and again I'd pick I'd pick one up, and it just didn't do it for me like it used to. Uh, especially that I think it was the Exodus Silver that uh, that me and the guys did for a Twitter review. It just didn't really do anything for me, and as a result, I've been shying away from the line. And uh, I picked this one up just out of curiosity. Saw the box sitting at my local shop, and so far, I'm really impressed with it. So uh, I'm really glad that I that I lit it up at this point. Now, uh, you know, useless banter. So how's the room going? Um, I'm not totally happy with the fan. I'm actually getting a little irritated by it. I'm sitting directly under it. It's it's right up here. And aside from being loud, which I think is the, is the ducting, it doesn't seem to be sucking the smoke to right up to the fan. Uh, you know, it's not an industrial size fan. I didn't expect it to work that way. But uh, it's a fairly small room. I've got a, a window open behind me. So there is a draft. And it's still not sucking the smoke out like I thought. It's still lingering around the room a little bit. Um, there's another window right next to the camera, which I should probably try cracking to, to create a cross draft. But, uh, but it seems as though the ducting that I've got up there isn't sufficient for, for the fan, for whatever reason. It's the, the ducting that came with it. But it's not pulling as hard as I would think, and I'm getting some blowback out of the outside of the, out of the, the housing for the fan. So I might have to pull the cover off and take a look at it and see if I can't seal it up a little bit better. And, uh, and maybe do something with the ducting to see if I can quiet it down a little bit. But uh, it's doing its job. It's not overly smoky in here. It's uh, Again, it's a fairly small room. It's sealed. I've got uh, doors shut, one window cracked, and uh, a fan on beside behind the camera to circulate the air. My eyes aren't bothering me. Uh, I don't see a ton of smoke lingering. So, you know, it's doing its job. It's just I, I think I need to get it a little more efficient. These lights are ungodly hot. I mean, I can feel the heat just radiating off of them and uh, just beating down on me. So we'll have to see what we can do about that. And uh, with any luck, this room should be done next week, uh, I think, and uh, should be able to move in and, and make it permanent. Uh, I, I will give you a, a bit of a tour when it's finished. There's really not much to it. The room's fairly small. There's going to be a bookcase over there. Uh, a lounge chair here, probably a desk over there, and uh, I've got a, a walk-in humidor which is roughly six by six, which uh, isn't quite done yet. The floor's down, uh, walls are painted, lights are up. Uh, just a matter of putting uh, shelf brackets up and uh, putting in the ceiling. The ceiling also needs to be done in here, and then uh, getting a, a hydration unit in there, uh, uh, one of those uh, single-room humidifiers. And, um, and and seeing how well the room holds humidity, being in the basement, it should be uh, fairly. It should hold it fairly well. But uh, that's where we're at. That's where I'm at with the cigar, with the uh, <laughs> the story for the room. And uh, I'll be back. We'll take one more look at the uh, Casa Terrano exists 1959, 50 year, and uh, I'll wrap this up and let you be on your way. So sit tight. All right. Well, I am back, and it's about time to wrap up my Carlos Terrano. Exodus 1959, 50 year, and uh, so far the cigar is doing pretty, pretty well. Let me shimmy over to the camera again, and uh, as you can see, the the burn line is doing pretty well. The uh, the ash is fairly strong. It's a little flaky uh, at times, and it's a bit dark. But for the most part, it, it's it's solid. Uh, it takes a nice firm tap to knock it off the end of the cigar and into the ashtray. Uh, it's smoking well getting a, a very nice smoke volume out of it. Uh, the, the, the draw is, is practically perfect for, for my tastes. Uh, the flavor hasn't changed up much. It's been very consistent in, in regards to that sort of moist earth <clears throat> and uh, like like stale chocolate. Um, again, it, <clears throat> it seems, it doesn't sound very appealing, but it works really well with the cigar, and, and I'm very happy with the flavor profile. I like it uh, quite a lot. So uh, I, I can definitely see myself smoking more of these in the future. Uh, as I as I smoke one, 
the uh, the body of the cigar is building. It's becoming more aggressive on the palate. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling weary from it, but uh, I can definitely see this being something that I could smoke at the end of the night and, and not have to worry about it being overshadowed by you know whatever I had earlier on in the day. It's it's got a thick texture to it. It's medium to full. Uh, it's got a, a punch through the sinuses that I like. Uh, it's easy to smoke. I mean, the, the flavor profiles, the, the, the various flavors, or the, the two primary flavors, or the two, the two major flavors, aren't very difficult to pick out. Uh, they stand out pretty well. They're, they're, they're easy to pick up. So it's, it's not something where you would, you'd have to sit down and, and, and really focus on the cigar. This is one that you could enjoy while doing other things and still pick up the complexities of it. And it makes it not only an enjoyable cigar to smoke, but an easy cigar to smoke. Uh, the price tag, at, again, around seven bucks. Um, I, I, I think it's a, a decent value. I think it's a fair price. Um, I, I was a bit <clears throat> thrown off by the fact that it, it's it's listed as a Churchill at a 48 by six. Uh, generally, you know, when I think Churchill, I think 50 by seven. So. Uh, this was this was kind of surprising to find out that you know I carried a Churchill price at a size that I don't associate with or with dimensions that I don't associate with that particular size. Um, again, I, I definitely can see myself smoking more of these in the future, and it's kind of renewed my interest in uh, in the Carlos Ta Carlos Taranio line. It's not uh, you know it's so the, the the last Exit of Silver I had was kind of boring. And this one really isn't. I mean, I'd have to smoke several more to really get a feel for it and see where I would go. But as a, as a first impression cigar, I'm pretty happy with it. And I, I'm definitely considering picking up more from time to time. And I would recommend you do the same if, uh, if the review sounds appealing. So uh, I'm going to smoke a little bit more of my cigar, uh, relax a little bit, and uh, I will catch you next time. Happy smoking.